We are Frederick's original. We have been serving the Frederick area since 1984. And we have been voted Frederick's best for the last eight years of running in Frederick Magazine. That is something we are very proud of. Um, so I wanted to do an unboxing of some pre-release kits. Uh, we still had a couple left over. We still have 12 more left over if anybody's interested in purchasing them. They are $20 uh, a piece. Um, if, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit differently, like I said in this one. I'm going to open six packs at a time, um, each one being a different pre-release kit. Um, what we would like in this one, if you all are, are up for it, is for the, for the long-term Magic players, the guys who have a little bit more experience, we would like to know, you know, what would you do with each one of these these uh, these kits if you were if you were uh, playing with them in a tournament in a pre-release. That way, some of our younger players, some of our newer players, can get an idea of um, what to look for, what to build from, um, that sort of thing. So this was the first pre-release kit, um, and here in a second, I'll go over the. Um, The pre-release uh, special cards that we got for each one. Uh, so we're going to go through through the whole pack so we can get an idea. Of, like I said, so you guys can tell, give, give tips to those who are newer to the game. So in this one we got Azusa, Lost But, but Seeking the, as the rare. Kite Sail, free, free Booter as an uncommon. Fierce Empath. Leafkin Avenger. Spell Gorger Weird. Cage Zombie, Sky Scanner, Rousing Reed, Duress, Pride Malkin, Fetid Imp, Feet of Resistance, Goblin Withery. Oops, and I'm sorry, I actually see that I'm not doing a good job of displaying the card, so we'll, we'll try this again over here. And I'll go over the cards one more time. So Feet of Resistance, Feated Imp, uh, Pride Malkin, Duress, Rousing Reed, Sky Scanner, Cage Zombie, Spell Gorger Weird, Leafkin Avenger, Fierce Empath, Kite Sail Freebooter, Azusa Lost But Seeking. We got the uh, token in the land there. Goblin Wizardry and Spined Megalodon. So that was our first pack for that pr first pre release kit. And then we'll move on to the second one here. So the token we got was a knight, we got Jungle Hollow, the rare was Conspicuous Snoop, Just Guy Elder, Kinetic Augur, Riddle Form, Wish Coin Crab, Legion's Judgment, Pitch, Pitch Burn Devils, Prismite, Fuhrer of the Bitten, Gloom Sower, Drowsing Tyranodon, Read the Tides, Valaurus Steed, and Thrill of Possibility. Now I have not had a chance to look over these new cards. Like I said, you guys are going to be far more knowledgeable. So any tips you can give to like a new player, what to look for, um, what you think that uh, they should do with each one of these pre-release kits. If they had pulled these, would be a big help for, for the newer players. Obviously, newer players are what's going to keep the, the game alive. You always have to add more players into the, uh, into the mix. So the token we got was Soldier in this one. Uh, Thornwood Falls. Sublime Epiphany. Just Guy Elder. Invigorating Surge. Wildwood Scour Scourge. Uh, Warded Battlements, Forgotten Sentinel, 
Scorching Dragonfire, Mind Rot, Rookie Mistake, Sanguine Indulgence, uh, Pride Walking again, Crash Through, King Guildmaster, or Glidemaster, sorry, King Glidemaster, Staunch Shieldmate. We'll move on to the fourth pack. Uh, for the newer players, if, if you don't know, so basically you get six packs on a pre-release. You build a 40-card deck out of the, the cards that you draw. So this one, we got one of the cool mountains. We got Chandra's Magmut, and that's a foil card. Looks pretty awesome. Uh, we got Caravac the Spiteful, Invigorating Surge, Light of Promise, Volcanic Geyser, Chandra's Magmud again, Mistral Singer, Dub, Garuk's Gorehorn, uh, Fetid Imp, Satessan Training, Defiant Strike, Destructive Tampering, and last but not least, Vodolian Arcanist. So we're moving on to pack five. We got a token goblin wizard. Let's see. We got rugged highlands. We got a foil island. We got speaker of the heavens. We got light of promise. Enthralling hold. Bolt hound. Saber tooth mauler. Anointed chorister. Roaming uh, Ghost Light, Track Down, Blood Glutton, Concordia Pegasus, Bone Pit Brute, Valdelian Arcanist again, and Alpine Watchdog. And also, anybody who's like a longer term player, um, when you when you do this, what do you normally look for in your in your packs? You know, do you look for that big card to build around? Do you look for what's your strongest color? Um, like I said, we're trying to help the newer players get a sense of how a pre-release this is done, how a sealed event is done. Um, we're probably gonna be doing sealed events for the foreseeable future, just because drafts, passing cards, um, that doesn't seem like a good good call right now. Plus, we had a, a lot of good uh, feedback on the precautions we had taken for the um, for the last for the for this pre-release. So we're very excited that the people enjoyed what we did, thought that we took appropriate precau precautions. Um, so, like I said, we can't do that for drafts; that's a little too difficult. But um, we're hoping to do some more sealed events. Uh, so let's move on to the six pack. We got a Sapperling uh, token. We got an island. We got a Shacklegeist. We got a Cultivate. Seasoned Hallowblade. Havoc Jester. Basfree's Acolyte. Anointed Chorister again. Return to Nature. Skeleton Archer. Liliana Steward. Colossal Dreadmaw, Capture Sphere, Celestial Enforcer, Turn to Slag, and Lofty Denial. So that was the first pre-release kit that we opened. Um, like I said, any advice anybody can put in the comments for, for newer players, give them an idea of what you saw in there that you would build around. Um, 
like I said, we have lots of newer players starting starting up at the in the store. We had a couple of guys we hadn't seen before show up this weekend. Um, we also um, are always giving out welcome decks, so we're always like bringing in new people for um, for the. Um, sorry, I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit more here. Um, so, any advice you guys can give? Obviously. The more comfortable newer players feel it their first time, the more often they'll they'll show up, which is good for the game, good for, for good for everybody. All right, so let's move on to our second pre-release kit. This is the first pack. So we got a Griffin. We got a really cool looking Swamp. I had not had a chance to look at the. Uh, the uh, new cards. So this is the first time I'm seeing like these these new new uh, borders for some of these cards. Um, like I said, that one looks pretty cool. Um, this one has a has a cultivate with full art. It also has a Jolrio one volley recluse. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Hopefully I did it, did it somewhat justice. Uh, tempered veteran uh, warden of the woods. Fierce Empath, Warded Battlements, uh, Land of War Visionary, Mast Blackguard, Frost Breath, Run Afoul, Rise Again, Portcullis Vine, Feet of Resistance and Goblin Wizardry. And for those of you who didn't hear me initially, like I said, we still have 12 more pre-release kits available. We did. We had a lot of people show up this weekend. I think we saw we had like 45, 50 people over the course of the events. Um, so we were quite proud of that. Like I said, we were also happy that people said they felt very comfortable with the precautions we had taken. Uh, for those of you who don't know the precautions we had taken, look through our Facebook page, you can see, or Instagram page, or Twitter. Um, you'll see some of the things that we had done. So this is pack number two. We got a soldier. We got a tranquil cove. Uh, we got a fiery emancipation. We got a tempered veteran. We got a sanctum of stone fangs. Tolarian kraken. Daybreak Charger, Goblin Arsonist, Short Sword, uh, Finishing Blow, Truffle Snout. I think that one may just be my favorite one just because of the name. <laughs> uh, next one, Blood Glutton. Uh, we have Satessin Training again, uh, Tome Anima, uh, Defiant Strike, and Onaki Ogre. So let's move on to pack number three. So we have a sapperling token. We got a forest. We got a foil eliminate. A spark hunter masticor. Sanctum of stone fangs. Falconer adept. Leafkin avenger. Sabertooth mauler. Shock. Roaming Ghost Light, Crypt Lurker, Titanic Growth, Opt, Revitalize, Thrill of Possibility, and Cancel. And for those of you who didn't make the events this weekend, um, we're actually, 
We still have um, 18 kits left over from Ikoria. So we're going to do a post-release um, for that. We're going to do a 10-man post-release and we're going to do an 8-man post-release. Um, we know that a lot of people were looking forward to doing the uh, pre-release. Obviously, no store could really do a live event because of the lockdowns and everything. But um, So we're going to do that. Keep an eye out on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and our um, website. Uh, we're going to try and... Uh, we're going to try and do that probably within the next two to three weeks. So this is our fourth pack. We have Windscarred Craig, or Craig, um, Conspicuous Snoop, Cultivate, Hellkite Punisher, Waker of Waves, Shock, Roaming Ghostlight, Infernal Scarring, Basri's Acolyte, uh, fed it in. Track down. Igneous Kerr. Opt. Makeshift Battalion. And Sure Strike. It definitely tell us which one of these pre release kits. You wish you had drawn during the pre-release. Uh, like I said, any advice you can give to the newer players, obviously the, they appreciate. Any information um, helps them. Um, so we start with the token beast. We get planes. Uh, another one of the Jalriel Mwanvali Recluse. Hellkite Punisher. Witch's Cauldron. Seed Striker. Rousing Reed, Radiant Fountain, Run a Foul, Pitch Burn Devils, Legion's Judgment, Duress, Village Rights, Track Down, Secure the Scene, and Turn to Slag. And in our last pack for this pre-release kit, we have the Night Token, Blossoming Sands, Necromentia, Witch's Cauldron, Battle Rattle Shaman, Basri's Sol Solidarity, Life Goes On, Gale Swooper, Wishcoin Crab, Legion's Judgment, Pitchburn Devils, Satessan Training, Crypt Lurker, Crash Through, Keen Glidemaster, Staunch Shieldmate. So that was that pre-release kit. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the uh, pre-release cards we got of each one of these. I think we did pretty well with those. So now we're on to our third kit. Also, for anybody who showed up this weekend, let us know the cool stuff that you got. Um, always interesting to know what people got in their, in their pulls. So for this one, we start off with the zombie token. We got the mountain. We got Sanctum of All, Hellkite Punisher, Miscast, Dire Fleet Warmonger, Scorching Dragonfire, Forgotten Sentinel, Mind Rot, Daybreak Charger, Truffle Snout, Village Rites. Henri Dilapasaur, I'm sure I mispronounced that, uh, Staunch Shieldmate, Bone Pit Brute, Tome Anima. Right. 
And while we can't do it for Ikoria because of just how, lim how much the limited product is, um, if anybody's ever interested in running a private pod uh, for a sealed event, let us know. We can definitely do that for you. And it doesn't even have to be on a Friday or whatever. As long as you have eight or more people, we can do that, um, do that for you. Um, it helps us by getting more events in our schedule. Um, helps you guys have fun. You also get some prize support. Like I said, just work with us. We can work with you. Uh, so this pack, we start off with a Dismal Backwater. That is a pretty nice card. Uh, full Art, Foil, Liliana, Walker of the Dead. Uh, Basri's Lieutenant. Uh, Griffin Airy. Pestilent Haze. Reign of Revelation. Dub. Sabretooth Mauler. Shock. Roaming Ghostlight. Garrix Gorhorn. Or Garrux. Uh, Walking Corpse. Valor Steed. Igneous Kerr. Lofty Denial. So that one was a pretty good pack with that full art foil. Next pack, we started off with a token, Goblin Wizard. Like I said, another one of those cool lands. Like I said, I had not seen these before, uh, beforehand, but I think they look pretty cool. Uh, foil Island, Peer into the Abyss. Uh, selfless Savior, the Fairy's Tutelage, Malefic uh, Scythe, Grasp of Darkness, Wall of Runes, Turret Ogre, Gnarled Sage, Henri de Lupsor, Sanguine Indulgence, Feet of Resistance, Goblin Wizardry, and Spined Megalodon. So far, I'm assuming if, if somebody had pulled this so far, they would be building around that Liliana. So let's move on to pack four of the third pre-release kit. We have a Soldier Token, Bloodfell Caves, a Garuk Unleashed, Chandra's Py Pyreling, Dire Fleet Warmonger, Angelic Ascension, Infernal Scarring, Basri's As Acolyte, Gnarled Sage, Turret Ogre, Liliana Stewart, Colossal Dreadmaw, Thrill of Possibility, Capture Spear, Celestial Enforcer, and Turn to Slag. Um, I've never really done a sealed event myself. I've, I've done a pre-release or two and I've done a couple of drafts, but I've never really done uh, a sealed event. So next up is our six pack um, in our third pre-release kit. So we have the um, Griffin token, we have Swift Water Cliffs, we have a Foil Read the Tides. That one actually feels thicker for some reason. Um, we have Maze Mine Tome, Skyway Sniper, or Skyway Sniper, sorry. Uh, Rewind, Riddle Form, Cage Zombie, Spellgorger Weird, Wishcoin Crab, Life Goes On, I promise I won't sing, uh, Gale Swooper, Pride Mawkin, Crypt Lurker, Celestial Enforcer, 
and Onaki Ogre. It seemed like that uh, pre-release kit was probably the strongest of the three so far. At least from what I had seen. If you guys feel differently, definitely let me know. While I like to play Magic, I, I do not claim to be an expert by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I like to play kit. Um, yeah, while I like to play, I've, I've never been particularly great at the game. Uh, I just like building decks, honestly. Alright, so we're moving on to our fourth pre-release kit. And I believe this is the fourth different uh, land like that that we've seen. Um, so moving on to the pack, Feline Sovereign, Experimental Overload, Thrashing Brontodon, Liliana's Devotee, Scorching Dragonfire, uh, Forgotten Sentinel, Mind Rot, Daybreak Charger, Truffle Snout, Satessin Training, Crypt Lurker, Valora Steed, Thrill of Possibility, and Capture Sphere. So let's move on to pack number two. We have a weird token. I like that one a lot. Actually kind of reminds me of the Superman Red and Blue storyline. Um, next we have Jungle Hollow. We have a Foil Forest. We have Terror of the Peaks. Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Eliminate. Avon Gaggle Master. Scorching Dragonfire. Forgotten Sentinel. Mind Rot. Daybreak Charger, Truffle Snout, Ranger's Guile, Rise Again, Secure the Scene, and Turn to Slag. Moving on to pack number three and our fourth pre release kit. Yeah, if I have time, I may try and squeeze into the Ikoria post-release myself. We will see. I, uh, like I said, I haven't played in quite some time. Uh, so this one is our pack number three. We have an angel token. We have a forest. Then we move on to our cards. We have Temple of Triumph, Furious Rise, Archfiend's Vessel, Teferi's Tutelage, Pitchburn Devils, Prismite, Fear of the Bitten, Land of War Visionary, Warded Battlements, Walking Corpse, Pride Malkin, Read the Tides, Valor, Valor Steed, and Thrill of Possibility. So what do you guys think? Should I play in the Ikoria one and give you all a free win? Because <laughs> that's pretty much what it would be. Like I said, i terrible at the game, but I like it a lot. Alright, so we're moving on to pack four here. Uh, so we have pack leader. Sanctum of Stone Fangs. Chrome Replicator. Leafkin Avenger. Silent Dart, Hunter's Edge, Infernal Scarring, Henri Dilophosaur, Sanguine Indulgence, Garuch Gorhorn, Hobble Fiend, kind of like the name Hobble Fiend also, not going to lie, uh, Cancel, Secure the Scene, and Destructive Tampering. Moving on to pack number five here. Also, if you guys are watching, let us know how you prefer to play, whether it be draft, commander, 
uh, sealed, all the different types of ways you can play magic. Tell us what your favorite is. So this is pack five of the fourth pre-release kit. We have the bird token, we have blossoming sands, we have a foil skeleton archer, we have another Asusa lost but seeking, archfiend's vessel, Teferi's tutelage, thrashing brontodon, Basri's acolyte, anointed chorister, return to nature, rise again, Snare Spinner, Celestial Enforcer, Turn to Slag, Lofty Denial, and Feet of Resistance. So we're moving on to our last pack in the fourth uh, pre-release kit that we're opening. And all these cards will be for sale. Uh, pro uh, we'll have them for sale on Friday, so... Uh, we'll have them all priced by then. Um, if you're interested in any of them, let us drop us a, drop us an email or call us. Um, so we have a construct token. We have thorn wood falls. Peer into the abyss. I think it was like the third one of that one we had seen. Invigorating surge. Volcanic geyser. Sage striker. Swift response. Shock. Sabertooth Mauler, Teferi's Protege, Portcullis Vine, Liliana Steward, Concordia Pegasus, Crash Through, Frantic Inventory, and Makeshift Battalion. And like I said, what we're looking for also in the comments. Um, I'm sure you guys will. It'll take you guys a while to go through and, and figure out how you would build around each one. But any any comments you can give would obviously be a big help to any newer players who are always kind of you know looking for any sort of information they can use when they're making their builds. And it's always good to give them as much help as possible. The more competitive they are, the more they'll want to play, which is good for the game, keeping people in the game, keeping people playing. Um, but let's move on to our fifth pre-release pack, our pre-release kit. This is the first pack. So we got a Saperlin token. We got planes. We got Speaker of the Heavens. We got Griffin Airy. We got Meteorite. Meteorite. Easy for me to say. Uh, Reign of Revelation. Return to Nature, Chandra's uh, Magmut, Mistral Singer, Dub, Blood Glutton, Garuk's Gorehorn, Hobble Fiend, Read the Tides, Defiant Strike, and destructive tampering. So that was our first pack in the fifth pre-release kit. Yeah, the cool thing also, just to go back over it, for pre-releases, nobody is as familiar with the cards when the when the pre-releases happen. So it's a good time for for beginners. Not necessarily to be able to compete with the long-term guys because they can normally assess the cards pretty quickly, but it's a more even playing field because people don't know the combos as well and, and it's more guesswork at that point than, than anything else. Um, so we have a Basri Ket token. We have a Windscarred Crag. We have Nyambi Esteemed Speaker. Sanctum of Calm Waters. Alpine Houndmaster. Eliminate. Goblin Arsonist, Short Sword, Finishing Blow, Truffle Snout, Radiant Fountain, Spell Gorger Weird, Walking Corpse, Pride Mockin', Read the Tides, and Valorous Steed. 
Moving on to pack number three of our fifth pre-release kit. Give me one second, guys. I have another delivery here. And we just got our card sleeves in. Um, we're supposed to get those in on Friday, obviously with the shipping and everything being delayed right now. Um, it's a little late for the pre-release. We're hoping to have those in for the pre-release, but we will have them in for this week's sealed event. Um, so, and this one we have the zombie token. Another one of the cool, cool lands. I like these. Uh, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think of them. Um, we have Baron. Tolarian Archmage, Chandra's Pyreling, Heartfire Emulator, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, Life Goes On, Gale Swooper, Wishcoin Crab, Legion's Judgment, Pitchburn Devils, Prismite, Alchemist Gift, uh, Portcullis Vine, Goblin Wizardry, and Spined Megalodon. So we're still pulling some cards we hadn't seen in previous packs. So that's always, I always like that, you know, the deeper you can go into the packs and, and still be drawing new stuff. Um, So this is pack number four of the fifth pre-release kit. We have a Knight Token. We have Swift Water Cliffs. We have a Foil Jalriel Monvali Recluse. Um, I think that's our third one that we've pulled. That's the first Foil though. Uh, Basri's Lieutenant. Experimental Overload. Battle Rattle Shaman. Basri Solidarity. Anointed Chorister. Skeleton Archer. Return to Nature, Roaming Ghost Light, Titanic Growth, Walking Corpse, Defiant Strike, Destructive Tampering, and Vidalian Arcanist. Arcanist, sorry. We're moving on to pack number five. We have a zombie token, island, solemn simulacrum, fungal rebirth, Tormod's crypt, crypt, uh, tide skimmer, anointed chorister, return to nature, skeletal skeleton archer, Chandra's magmut. Alchemist Gift, Honorary Dilapasaur, Hobblefiend, I think that might be my second favorite name of a card in this set so far, uh, Cancel, Secure the Scene, and Destructive Tampering. So we're moving on to our sixth and final um, pack in our fifth pre-release kit. We got a soldier token, we got scoured uh, barons, we got Temple of Epiphany, Furious Rise, Archfiend's Vessel, Tolarian Kraken, or Kraken, I'm sorry, uh, Sky, Sky Scanner, Goblin Arsonist, Rousing Reed, Radiant Fountain, Run Afoul, Village Rights, Honorary Dilipsor, Cancel, Valorous Steed, and last but not least, Ig Igneous Cur. So that was our fifth pre-release kit. 
And now we're going to move on to our sixth and final one. And let us know whether you guys want us to keep doing videos like this. I have an idea or two on how to make it a little bit better. Like I said, I haven't played on a regular basis that much. Um, so I'm hoping to find somebody who's a little bit more familiar with the cards and stuff than I am. And also who, who plays in the sealed events a little bit more often. And maybe we can do one where um, they give a little bit more... Where we, where we only open maybe one or two pre-release kits. But they give an insight as to how they would handle it. Um, just because, like I said, I mean, unfortunately I don't have the time to devote to what I used to in terms of, of, of magic. Um, it's a game that you definitely have to stay on top of, or you, you get steamrolled easily, you need to know the cards, um, pretty well. Um, and at least in order to compete with, in a competitive manner, like, I, I generally like a more casual, um, scenario myself, but... All the guys keep trying to drag me into Commander because of that. We will see whether I, I, I succumb to that or not. Alright, so in this pack we have uh, Dismal uh, Backwater. We have a Foil Tormid's Crypt. We have See the Truth. Chrome Replicator. Invigorating Surge. Waker of Waves. Skeleton Archer. Wall of Runes. Swift Response. Fetid Imp, Honorary Dilopasaur, I know I'm mispronouncing that, Onaki Ogre, Library Larsonist, Revitalize, and Hopple Fiend. Like I said, my second favorite named card in this set. So this is uh, pack number two of our sixth and final pre-release kit. So we have Griffin, we have Plans. Let me rephrase that, our last one for this video. We have 12 for sale. Um, if you're interested, definitely let us know. I know some of you couldn't make it out to the event. Some of you still don't feel safe showing up. We understand that as well. Um, just know that we are taking as many precautions as we can. So our mythic rare for this one is Chromatic Orrery. Uh, Sanctum of Stone Fangs, Tolarian Kraken, Kraken, I don't know why I keep saying Kraken, uh, Watcher of Spheres, Infernal Scarring, Anointed Chorister, Roaming Ghostlight, Gnarled Sage, uh, Fetid Imp, Trackdown, Destructive Tampering, Valdeli Valdelian Arcanist, Arcanist, sorry, Secure the Scene, and Turn to Slag. So we're down to our final four packs here. So this is our third pack in this pre-release kit. We have the Soldier Token, we have a Jungle Hollow, we have Speaker of the Heavens, Sanctum of Calm Waters, uh, Kinetic Augur, Fierce Empath, Skeleton Archer, Anointed Chorister, Return to Nature, Roaming Ghostlight, Titanic Growth, Walking Corpse, Igneous Kerr, Opt, Makeshift Battalion, and Sure Strike. So we're halfway through uh, our final pre release kit here. So we have Thornwood Falls, we have a Foil Shacklegeist. Uh, Temple of the Epiphany, Chrome Replicator, Invigorating Surge, Tide Skimmer, Anointed Chorister, Return to Nature, 
Skeleton Archer, Drowsing Pteranodon, Alchemist Gift, Opt, Revitalize, Thrill of Possibility, and Cancel. So in our fifth pack we have a zombie, we have a mountain, like I said I like the way those those new uh, cards are set up. We have Discontinuity, Alpine Howlmaster, Miscast, Enthralling Hold, Truffle Snout, like I said my favorite name card to this set, Rookie Mistake, Finishing Blow, Short Sword, Cage Zombie, Sanguine Indulgence, Garuk's Gorehorn, Cancel, Secure the Scene, and Destructive Tampering. And this is our final pack of our final pre-release kit. Hopefully we get something really, really good in there. It's hard to complain about what we pulled so far though. So in this, we start off of course with a token, the demon token, uh, Rugged Highlands, Sublime Epiphany, I think that was the second one we've seen of that one, uh, Sanctum of Calm Waters, Bolt Hound, Bullfist, or Burlfist Oak, uh, Short Sword, Finishing Blow, Truffle Snout, Radiant uh, Fountain, Spell Gorger Weird, Blood Glutton, Satessin Training, Opt, Revitalize, and last but not least, Thrill of Possibility. So those were our six pre-release kits that we opened. Um, like I said, anybody, uh, we are we would love to hear what you would have done with each one of those pools. Um, always uh, interested to hear what people people would do with, with different pools. So these are the pre-release cards that we pulled out of each one. We had a Temple of Malady. Uh, for those of you who have never played in a pre-release, so each pre-release kit comes with a pre-release card. You can see it's stamped with the uh, with the dates that the pre-release was played. Um, a lot of people collect these. It's a it's a good memory holder, like a memento of the of of the time that you had there. Um, obviously, if you pull one of the great ones, it's an even better keepsake. But um, next up, we have Caravac the Spiteful. Then we have Idol of Endurance. Oops, let me lower it here so you can see it. Sorry, I haven't taken them out of the plastic. There we go. Idol of Endurance. We got Shacklegeist. Try to keep the light so you can guys can see the. Uh, then we have Mangara the Diplomat. Got a little bit lower here. There we go. And last but not least, we got a groom to grim tutor so uh, like I said we can't complain about what we what we got out of those out of those packs uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching um, if you have any ideas on how to improve um, these type of things that we want to do um, we're, we're always looking to do more content now um, if you guys are interested in doing any content for us definitely let us know we're always looking like I said for that as well um, thank you for watching